Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how's everyone doing? Welcome here to the start of something very exciting. This is our universe mode, and we are going to be playing this universe for a little bit. Who knows how long we're going to be going, but I'm certainly excited to see where we go. Welcome to our universe mode. Now, we've already done the draft in this thing. If you go back to a previous episode, you will see that we drafted 50 people onto this roster and we get to make some interesting cards. Today, we are hopefully going to determine who our inaugural champions are. And hopefully, we're going to be able to build towards the upcoming pay-per-view, Money in the Bank. So, welcome everyone here to Universe Mode. It should be fun. But let's see what we can get into. So, the, in, the entire idea behind the series is that you guys are able to tell me who you want to see in the main event, who you want to see go after tag team titles, things of that nature. So as the series pro series progresses, whether it be in the live chat or whether it be in the comment section below, please let me know what do you want to see. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. It should be lots of fun. And we are going to start off by booking our main event. We're going to do this kind of backwards. We're going to start in the main event. Then we're going to go kind of backwards. Maybe we'll start after that with the opening match. Whatever we end up deciding, we're going to have some fun with this. So let's go right into customize match. Let's see what we want for our main event. Now, we need to determine our WWE champion, first and foremost. That's what we need to determine, okay? Pretty damn simple. And I have an easy way to decide who is going to be our inaugural WWE champion. And that is in a six-man matchup inside a battle royale. So I'm thinking we're going to have a battle royale with six people, six wrestlers... And whoever wins the Battle Royal will be our inaugural WWE Champion, okay? So who do you guys want to see in our Battle Royal? Uh, does it not let me choose? Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> I thought it was going to show just our rostered wrestlers. Um, okay, that, that might be a, a bit of a mistake to start off. Well, let me go off of memory then, okay? Let's go off of memory, then we'll take a look at the roster right after this. Ah, you know what? Screw it. No, let's go take a look at the roster right now. I know it takes a little bit of time, all right? This is a terrible start to the series, but we need to know who's in the show, okay? Uh, and, and we need to uh, get some people into the Battle Royale after this. So let's go back, take a look at the roster, get you guys up to date, and then hopefully we are good after that. Now, keynote right here is that there is long loading screens in universe mode. So I bid, I beg you guys to just be a little patient while watching this series because uh, this right here, the black screen, the black screen is going to be a thing in WWE 2K22. So uh, let's get going. Come on, load, 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 load. <laughs> But the idea behind this universe mode, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have five matchups every single week. You can see right here, five matchups. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, and these five matchups, they are going to vary week in and week out, and we're going to the pay-per-views. But here is the roster. So let's take a look at the superstars on our Monday Night Raw roster. Uh, the black screen will be an icon in these streams. Absolutely, TCS Gaming, it will be. It will be certainly something interesting. Um, but I think it's going to be fun. Brandon McKeegan says there is a custom superstar tab if you click it. All right, my man. Well, we're not using custom superstars in this mode. We'll have a different universe mode for that. Uh, but Brandon, thank you for the tip. And then Shinji, how you doing, bud, here in the chat? It's good to have you, my man. So here is our roster, all right? We have AJ Styles, Angelo Dawkins, Asuka, Austin Theory, Bailey, Beth Phoenix, Bianca Belair, Big E, Billy Kay, Brett the Hitman Hart, Chad Gable, Charlotte Flair, Damian Priest, Drew McIntyre, Edge, Finn Balor, Jeff Hardy, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, Johnny Gargano, Casey Catanzaro, Keith Lee, whoop whoop, Kevin Owens, Kofi Kingston, we got Liv Morgan as well, Mace, Mandy Rose, Mandy, 
We got Mickey James, Montez Ford, Mustafa Ali. We got Naomi, Omos, Otis, Peyton Royce, Randy Orton, Rey Mysterio, Rhea Ripley, Ricochet, Riddle, The Rock, Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, Sasha Banks, Seth Rollins, Shayna Baszler, Sheamus, Tegan Knox, Umaga, Walter, and Xavier Woods. So we have a, a decent roster. Uh, what I should probably do is I should probably write out all the names of our roster. That way I can take a look at a roster page in the future. We'll try to go off of memory here today. All right, guys, tell me uh, in the future if I happen to add somebody into the show that is not a part of the show, okay? So that is our rosters right there. Let's see if there's any tag teams. Um... Yeah, it looks like we got a few right here. So we've got Alpha Academy, we have the Heart Foundation, Iconics, Imperium, New Day, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, Retribution, Rhea Ripley, Nikki A.S.H., RK Bro, Shotzi and Knox, Street Profits, Usos, and The Way. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Any rivalries built up? So it looks like we got some potential growing rivalries right off the start of the show. We might get into those in the future. Uh, all right. Let's go to edit matches then. Connie you forgot Cody Bang. Cody Bang's not in this. <laughs> so let's get our Battle Royal match started for the main event. And then let's go to the first match, second match, third match, and fourth, fourth match right after that. Uh, TCS Gaming saying he did not know this was not the CMU. I got confused. Yes, this is not the CMU here, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a regular universe mode. The CMU, our custom universe mode, will be coming to you guys hopefully within the next month. Um, we're getting pretty close to creating it all. It's coming along. It certainly is. But we got that loading screen. Yes, we do. We got that low load. We got that big load. There it is. All right. Go into this. Customize match. Boom. Six man. Battle Royale. Okay. Are we going to watch the matches? Yes, we are. We are going to watch the matches that we put together. So, in this Battle Royale, from the people that we showed you, who should we put on in? I think we've got to put... So, we got to put Umaga. All right, guys? We got to put Umaga in. You, you know my story with Umaga. I love Umaga. So he is on into this one right here. Um, then I think we need to put in... Ooh, right. Uh, AJ Styles, he deserves a chance at the WWE title. So AJ right here. Let's give him that resiliency as well. Uh, let's get... Roman Reigns, I think, needs to be in there, but he's going to be the last one that we put on in. Uh, some people are saying Jeff Hardy. I've seen a lot of people say Jeff Hardy, so we'll give the people what they want. Jeff Hardy is on into the show. Uh, oh, you know I got to bring my boy in. Damian Priest is getting in on in there. Uh, who else? Randy Orton is being considered. Uh, Finn Balor's being considered. Drew McIntyre being considered. Xavier Woods being considered. Uh, Seth frickin' Rollins being considered. Oh boy, oh boy. Hey Luck, how you doing, bud? Uh, people are saying Drew. People are saying Drew. Alright. Let's give Drew McIntyre a chance. Drew McIntyre gets the shot here. And Roman Reigns, 98 overall. What the frick? <laughs> How is he 98 overall? Oh my goodness. Wow. What happened to Roman? Let's make that a title match. Holy cowie wowie. Cowie wowie. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Cow Wyatt right there. Holy. But we're going to get this booked. Then we're going to get the first match booked. Then we're going to get all the matches in between booked. Then we're going to get started with the show. 
It's the black screen. <laughs> Every time that we get black screen on the screen right here, we should get like... I'm not sure if there's a black circle emoji, but just get a black circle emoji in the chat. All right. Every time there's a black screen, just throw a black circle in the chat. It's our loading screen. We're getting hyped up in here. There we go. All right. So that one has been created, but it's not for a title. How did it not? What? How did? Huh? Oh, I got to go back in. <laughs> oh, I got to go back in again. All right. Wow, man. Title match. Select championship. There we go. Championship. Is GM mode coming back? Absolutely. Just uh, need to try some other things on this channel as well. There's so much to do in this game. So much to do. So much to be a part of. But while we also got those loading screens on, make sure you guys drop that like on this video. So here we go. Let's make this for the WWE Championship. Now, question guys. Should we do it for the regular WWE Championship? Should we make it for a World Heavyweight Championship? Or should we make it for the Winged Eagle Championship? What do you think? What do you think? Because there's three options, so you guys can let me know in the chat as we are watching live right now. Thank you guys for dropping those black circles in the chat. Um, might be leaning towards the WWE Championship, but... Winged Eagle regular. Regular. We've got Tide, the classic 98. Alt 98 is starting to take over Eagle. The Eagle current world heavyweight title. Winged. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. You guys have said it. The 98 championship is what is going to be on the line in our universe mode. So not the regular WWE title, but the WWE championship from 1998. The Winged Eagle. The Winged Eagle is on the line. <whistles> That's right, folks. We'll see how people react in this chat. But if you guys are excited, man, give me that hell yeah in the live chat. And if you're watching back at a later time, make sure you leave some comments in the comment section below on some ideas for stories that you'd like to see, uh, for characters you'd like to see get a good push, all that great stuff. All of that. And hopefully this won't take too, too long to set up. Uh, I'm starting to realize that maybe I should set it up ahead of time. And then that way we can just jump right in to the... To the matches. Alright, so we got our main event. Let's get our opening match up here. So, we do have... We do have Seth Rollins. So let's get Seth Rollins in an opening match, all right? It's a customized match. Seth Rollins. One-on-one -on -one for an opening matchup. And Sethy Poo can be fighting for... I, I want to get Seth Rollins for a mid-card title here. Let's have an opening, opening ladder match, all right, folks? Opening ladder match. We're going to have... We are going to have Seth Rollins, so Seth freaking Rollins. Do they actually call him Seth freaking Rollins in this game? Or is he just Seth Rollins? Just Seth Rollins. Okay, so Seth freaking Rollins right here. Um, low blow, poison mist, power of the punch run in. Uh, let's do, yeah, low blow, sure, what the heck. Seth Rollins against who, guys? Seth Rollins against who? It's going to be for, you know what? I think we should. Former protege versus former mentor. And current United States champion in real life. He's going to get a chance to win that title. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Austin Theory. Austin Theory versus Seth freaking Rollins in a ladder match. In a ladder match for the United States Championship. Let's go. So championship right here. 
We'll see who walks out with the dub. <laughs> Don't forget to have a quadrillion camera cuts a minute, right? Right, yeah, we got to get on our Kevin Dunn shiz. So here we go. Let's go with the United States Championship. Uh, WWE United States title. There it is. Beautiful. So that's going to hang high above the ring. And match here. Uh, we need a tag team match. So we need to get our tag team division going. Honestly? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. The New Day versus the Street Profits. Let make, let's make that for the tag team titles. Let's not even waste any time. Let's just make that for the tag team titles. All right. Right there. Boom. Two on two. Uh, we Oh, we can do mixed gender tags. I forgot about that. But let's make this Extreme Rules, okay? Extreme Rules for the tag team titles. Boom. Edit payback, and we're going to get a, uh, oh, let's go heal. Yo, these dudes are heal, right? Street Profits are heal now, or at least they're going to be heal for us. Low blow, boom, boom. All right, let's see how that goes. Championship here. <laughs> Make sure you guys drop that like, though, on this video if you have not done so. Let's get this all the way up. I, I feel like we can get this to 100 likes here today. I truly believe that. And I think this series has so much potential for us in the future. Um, and I hope you enjoy every second of it. So let's make it for the Raw Tag Team titles. Let's not be confusing, okay? So Raw Tag Team titles right there. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas Jr. asking, when is the CMU starting? The CMU is going to start hopefully within the next month. I'm working away on it, but I wanted to get this going as well because I've been promising this universe mode for about two and a half weeks, maybe a little longer. Been promising it, so it's finally time that I deliver on it. It's the black screen! We've seen the red flame, and now we got the black screen. Oh, man. Look at those loading times! Woo! From the future. Best of luck, dude. I hope it happens for you. Okay, so we got our tag team title match. We've got the United States title. We have the WWE title on the line. We have two more matchups. Uh, we can. Uh, I want to have two more title matches. Women's title and probably we don't really have enough for the women's tag team in our roster right now. So I would say women's title and then maybe we can take a look at something else. So let's get the women's title right here. Uh, choose participants. Oh, shoot. Hang on. More black screen. If you make a mistake, it just certainly <laughs> certainly makes you pay, doesn't it? Hold up there, women's wrestling fan. We're nowhere near close. Okay, we're nowhere near close. Just hold up, folks. Trey Lucado and everybody in the chat, don't you worry, all right? I know everybody's like, what? You've got two people working twice? Oh, my God. It's like I haven't edited those matches yet. <laughs> like, we'll get around to them, I promise. Don't you worry, folks. Don't you worry your pretty little faces. All right. But it's the black screen. Black screen, black screen, black screen, black screen. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's try this again. So this match right here, customized match. Boom. Boom. We want a one-on-one -on -one matchup, uh, and this one is going to be, let's make it a, steel cage, I think. Let's make it a steel cage match for a women's title, all right? So, women's division, uh, who do we have that would be... 
interesting to watch in a... Actually, you know what? I oh, No, I don't want to change this again. No, no, no. I changed my mind. Who in our women's division would you guys like to see fight for the women's title in a one-on-one -on -one match? Who deserves it the most in your eyes? Who deserves it the most? Um... Say Rhea Ripley. Okay. Peyton Cash says this is going to be sick. Yes, sir. I like that. I like that right there. Rhea Ripley. Who does Rhea Ripley go up against, ladies and gentlemen? Who is Rhea going to fight right here? Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss 2021. Naomi. Kaylee Ray. Hey, Raul. How you doing, bud? Uh, Liv Morgan, people are saying. Yo, we could literally do Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley and have that start off the... Yeah, people are saying Liv? Yo, people be saying Liv? You know what, ladies and gentlemen? I, I'm there with you. Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley for the women's title. You know what? We're going to give Liv a chance and we're going to give Rhea a chance. I like that matchup a lot, and they got a real-life rivalry going on right now, so that transitions easily from real life into the game. Dang, though, Liv Morgan getting a chance at the Raw Women's title. Huge stuff for Liv. That means we need one more match. One more title match. So, if you guys had the ability to pick one more championship, whichever championship you would like, Whichever title, whichever title from the history of the biz, which one should we add in right now? Which one should it be? Bailey Reichardt says, I'll probably do Liv versus Rhea better than WWE will. Gotta give him credit, though. It's been entertaining on WWE TV, right? Been pretty entertaining. Welcome over 100 viewers in the chats. Good to see you guys. Good to have you. Some people are saying IC title, hardcore title, 24-7 title, light heavyweight championship, white IC title, 24-7. People want the 24-7. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> you want the 24-7 title? Why? Uh, let's make it a triple threat of some sort. Let's have a triple threat matchup. Um, make it in an extreme rules match, okay? So we got to figure out who is going to be fighting first and foremost. Then we got to figure out what title. So for our men's division, we got to have Rey Mysterio in it, okay? Rey Mysterio's the title character. He deserves a chance to uh, to showcase his skills to everybody. So Rey Mysterio is certainly one of them. Now let's take a look at the others who we could potentially put on in. Uh, Xavier Woods makes a lot of sense. Right, Xavier makes a lot of sense to be able to give him a chance right here. We could also get Walter in there. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to say this right now. No, not all these guys are in the universe mode that we have. I wish it would only show who's on a roster. Because we basically have to try to remember who is going to go in. So Walter right there. Walter and the final person. For an opportunity. Uh, we could put in Finn Balor. Edge is a possibility. We could put in... Uh... Oh yeah, Woods is in the tag team title. Thank you, my man. Uh, we could do... Who's a good looking person to go on in here? Let's go with, um, did I draft Ricochet guys? I can't remember if I did. I'm going to go with Finn Balor because I can't exactly remember if Ricochet is on 
the roster list. Uh, I got to definitely write the roster list down. So that's something that I can do in the future. So very, very neat. Not a problem. So let's go with Finn Balor right here. Finn Balor's getting a chance at a title. Now we need to figure out what title this is going to be. So championship right here. We'll take a look, double check all that stuff before we go actually live with the show there, Trey Lucado. All right, bud? Thanks for trying to remind me. <laughs> all right, so now we could do either an ECW championship. I did draft Ricochet. Okay, good to know for the future. We could do the hardcore title. We could do the North American title from NXT. Okay. We can do the intercontinental title we can do the european championship so here we go let's uh let's make a list right here so it's either going to be the ic title it's going to be the european title uh could be the ecw title or it could be the North American title, I think, right? Here we go. Let's do it, guys. Get your votes in right there in the live chat right now, and you can tell us what this final title is going to be. Which one are we adding on in here? Um, some people might be picking ECW. Let's take a look. Yeah, ECW title sitting here at 36%. Uh, European title at 27%. I wouldn't mind having the European title. I legit wouldn't mind having the European title. Uh, there you go. 33% for European title. 28% for the IC title. 17 for the North American title. And yo, the IC title just took back over though. 39% right now. Uh, the crowd might be asking for the IC title. Oh boy, it's getting close, getting close. I'm going to give you guys about another 30 seconds to cast your vote, uh, but it is getting really tight. ECW just took back over 35% for ECW title, 36% uh, now. Yo, ECW taking over. Are we going to see ECW come on into our universe mode? People want the ECW title. That, to me, is kind of shocking. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I'm going to make that work. Like, well, we'll make it work. It'll be the ECW title. Um, Stream Championship Wrestling. I, uh... All right. Like, Extreme Rules matches for it all the time. I, I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Or, or we could have the YouTube Championship. This is the other one. I didn't really offer this one. So now let's do a poll right here, okay? I'm going to do a more refined poll. Okay, we're going to do a refine poll, all right? Listen to this. We're going to do a refine poll. YouTube Diamond Champ. YouTube Diamond title. Will it be the ECW title or will it be the IC title? All right? You guys got three options now. We're going to refine it, though. Steve Callen saying that Euro, Euro makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense, but people didn't vote on it. So YouTube Diamond title, ECW title, or the IC title, which one would you guys like? And once again, this is the uh, the YouTube Diamond Championship, which I'm hovering over right now. Uh, oh man, that title be taken off. And then what else is there? There is the ECW title, which is right there. And the IC title, which is located right here below my face. Okay, ECW title and YouTube Diamond title are trading back and forth. I think the YouTube one makes more sense. All right, guys. With how close it is, the YouTube Diamond makes more sense for our other, other title. Uh, yeah, we're going to settle on that one. YouTube Diamond title is what we are choosing. Boom. And it actually won the poll. There you go. 
Hey, Jack, how you doing, bud? So YouTube Diamond Championship. Boom! Been created. Damn. All right. I think we are all set, ladies and gentlemen, to get this show underway. We've got ourselves a one-on-one -on -one match for the la for the ladder title. <laughs> we got a one-on-one -on -one match in a ladder match. Connor can't speak English. For the United States Championship, we have the tag team titles right here between Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston versus Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. We have Finn Balor, Walter, and Rey Mysterio fighting for the YouTube Diamond Championship. Then we have Rhea Ripley versus Liv Morgan inside a steel cage match. And then the main event is going to be a battle royale. Umaga, Priest, Styles, Hardy, McIntyre, and Roman Reigns for the WWE Championship. I know, just a nice guy. We're, we're going to do better, though. Here we go. Let's do it. Start that show. I hope we don't need, like, a show intro, right? If we, if we turn the show intro off, it should just take us to the actual entrances and all that. I don't think we need to have the show intro on to be able to see the show. But here we go, folks. We're going to be live now for the next little bit covering... All of this universe mode action. And we'll see how long it takes to get through. It might be another hour. Might be a little less. Might be a little more. I hope Becca doesn't hate me because we were supposed to go grocery shopping. And I'm clearly going to be late to that. So, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be good. If you guys are pumped up, then give me a hell yeah in the live chat. Now, nah, Mr. Canadian, I think the goal here is to provide multiple episodes where you can watch back at a later time, follow the stories, and see exactly what's going on. Uh, so we are going to be simulating our five matches here, and you guys can feel like you are connected to... Connected to the series, alright? Will I be streaming Raw tonight? I will, Zelta. I will. And look at this, folks. Look at that chat giving me that hell yeah in the chat. Oh yeah, Brandon McKeegan. Jack Ransom says I'm not a fan of Roman Reigns. Alan Lalal Gaming, I did. I turned heel on your butts. Here we go! United States title on the line. Yeah! Burn it down! Here comes Sethy Poo! Oh man! Here he is! Hey, Ghostface! Whoa! Whoa! Bam! 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 Da -dam, da -dam. Burn the it down! Is a ladder match. And is for the WWE United States Championship. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds. Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins, we might as well add. Here he is. And now we are going to skip past some of the intros, though. As we have Austin Theory, A-Town down. Here he is, the former United States champion. And yeah, opponent, man. Representing the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! Uh, did you hear that Ric Flair wants to return to the squared circle? I did hear about that, Jason Barker. Yeah, Ric Flair on his way back to wrestling. Good lord. Uh, Ghostface, bro, I'm so sorry to hear about that, bud. I'm so incredibly sorry to hear about that. Macho Studio says, Con, former. Correct, former. He's not a United States champion in our series, is he? Former. Yo, Ghostface, I'm truly, truly so sorry to hear about that. Reach out to me if you need to talk, okay, bud? Here for you, man. 
So let's get this one. And by the way, thank you, Jason Barker, for your $5 donation right there. So who will win, chat? It's either going to be Austin Theory or it's going to be Seth Rollins. I just called him former. Exactly. He's a former United States champion. You guys, he's not United States champion in our show right now. No, he's not. All right. And uh, maybe something that I can change moving forward in our universe mode is I can get rid of the heads up display. That way you guys can't see what health they're at and all of that stuff. Uh, but we do have the stars in the top left hand corner. And if I move my thing up here just a little bit, you can see. Oops. Let's try that properly. There you go. And I think you can see everything there now. So let's start things off here in our universe mode as Austin Theory, the young up-and-coming superstar is wrestling a man who once mentored him not for very long but for a little bit Seth Rollins took Austin Theory under his wings and showed him the ropes inside the WWE now once a disciple is on his own looking to capturing that United States Championship he held the title in real life but here inside our universe all titles have been stripped away so he is a former United States Champion and Seth Rollins, obviously a guy who has done it all. He's reached the mountaintop multiple times. He's cashed in money in the bank. He's won many ladder matches. The dude's been a mid-card champion, tag team champion, you name it. Rollins has done it all. And Theory's got a tough, tall task. Tough, tall task. Oh man, Rollins went for a baseball slide drop kick, but Austin Theory grabs his legs and drags his neck over that top rope and steps back inside the ring, and Rollins is going to look to bring the ladder into the fray. Remember, this is for the United States Championship. We will figure out our inaugural United States Champion inside our universe mode. Wait, Theory picking up the ladder and just smacking it in the face. Oh my goodness. Austin Theory just smoked Daddy Rollins right on the top of the dome. And now lifts him right back up. Has him in control. Rollins hit with a fallaway slam. This is your chance, Theory. Oh, but Theory squandered his opportunity and allowing Rollins now to step up that steal. He's trying to reach for the title that is hanging high above the ring. But look at this, Theory quick like a cat up that ladder. Now Rollins smacks his face off the steel, followed up with a chop. Oh man, a punch to the face, Theory. That's not where you want to be, dude. No! Austin Theory comes crashing to the mat. And now Rollins with a chance to start taking down the championship. She's got too tight. Oh no. I was going to say it's got two. <laughs> two notches on the belt, but he just got smacked right on the steel. Holy hell, man. And now Austin Theory just drives him right back. Theory, what a neck breaker. Down goes Rollins. You got to stay on this opportunity here, Austin. Don't let him go. Theory with a kick to the midsection. Double under. What in the hell was that? Face first goes Rollins. Austin Theory just smoked him. Oh my goodness, and now Austin's going all the way up. Wait, no! Theory! Elbow drop from the top! You gotta be joking me! Austin Theory putting his life on the line to drop an elbow down on Seth Rollins, and now his opportunity to take that title back. The title that he never lost. The title that was stripped from him and all other champions when our universe mode began. He's got his hands on the title. He's almost there. Only three little ticks away. But Rollins stops him. And a chop now to the chest. Another chop to the chest. Seth Rollins. Wait, reversal by Theory. Theory. Oh, just grabbing Rollins by the neck. But Rollins reversed that one. Not getting thrown off the ladder. Now a punch on top of the ladder. The next man who goes down might very well... Oh, no! Might very well be the new champion. Rollins with his hands on the title. Theory's got to be quick. He's got to be so quick, and he does. He finds a way out of that one. Wow. 
Theory staying alive. Now lifting back up that ladder again. Gonna use it as a weapon and he smacks Daddy Rollins in the face. That could be it, folks. We could be seeing the United States champ. He's gonna do it again! Theory! Theory! Axe handle! No! Rollins counter with a punch to the midsection. And now Rollins is going back up the ladder. Austin Theory's gotta go up there again. Come on, quick, dude. Quick, quick, quick. Theory, though, grabbing the neck of Rollins. Thinking of your ghost face. Stay safe, buddy. Stay safe, my man. We're all with you, bud. No! And again, Austin Theory drops down off the top of the ladder. Two ticks away. Rollins is the new United States champion. And tonight, the mentor beats the disciple. Here is your winner. And the there you go, folks. WWE Seth United Rollins States wins. Champion. All right, so only a two-star matchup by Seth and Austin. But it is what it is. Very entertaining matchup. Seth Rollins is our new United States champion, and he is going to have an interesting run here, isn't he? Going to have an interesting run. Woo! But yeah, folks, I think this is going to be so much fun. I can already see this being really, really entertaining in the long term. But we are now going into our next matchup. It's for the tag team titles. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Everybody, let's get those unicorns in the chat. Oh, yeah. Xavier just be doing his little knee shimmy. You can't see my knees right there, can you? Here we go. Knee the following shimmy. Contest. That was what Xavier was doing. Team extreme rules match. Let's go. It is for the Raw. They're on their way to the ring. At a combined weight of yeah, this is the first week. I technically had to simulate the first week because I needed to get the series set up. I needed, you know, like it to be five matches instead of seven. So we are technically in the second week, but this is week number one for us. First week didn't really matter at all. It was all simulated. So here we go. It's time for the new day. New day rocks. You know what you also should do? You should make sure you drop that like. Helps the channel out a ton. But now it's time for the guys who want that smoke. It's time for the Street Profits. Damn, their intro's so cool. So cool. Stir that pot, Angelo. I don't know if there's a red solo cup emoji, but if there is, spam it. The Street Profits. You guys like the Street Profits? You think they're going to be a fun tag team here in the CMU? If you, or not the CMU, in our custom, I am keep saying custom universe mode. In our universe mode right here. You like them? Give me a thumbs up in the chat. Thank you for 160 viewers. Let's get it up to 100 likes. All right, Street Profits, you got yourself a tag team title match against the New Day. Who will be our inaugural tag team champions? Who will it be? The poll is now live for everyone in the chat. And there we go. This is Extreme Rules, I'm pretty sure, is it not? Yeah, it's Extreme Rules. So anything goes in this matchup. It is Tornado style, so it's going to take a while to beat your opponents down. You got to certainly have your head on a swivel in this type of matchup. So we got Montez Ford starting off with Kofi Kingston, and you have Xavier Woods against Angelo Dawkins. Kofi on the, I guess you could say on the right side of the screen, now towards the back. 
and Xavier towards the front of the screen. Angelo Dawkins is the dude who's got two headbands, and Montez Ford is the dude that jumps higher than anybody. Now Kofi Kingston immediately down into the cover. This could be it. Count of one. Count of one is it. And a kick out by Ford. And we got a neck breaker on the outside of the ring by Xavier Woods as well. And look at this, another neck breaker here from Kofi Kingston. As Xavier starts to throw down the tight, the table, trying to maybe use the wooden table as a weapon. But Dawkins counters that one and slams him down. Kofi Kingston, what a leg drop! Dropping that right across the neck of Montez Ford. But Angelo Dawkins just throwing Xavier down into the mat and a right hand on the outside of the ring. Remember, this is extreme rules. Literally anything can happen in this matchup. Anything goes. It's extreme. Now there's a kick right there. Oh, Hurricanrana down goes Angelo Dawkins. And Montez Ford has taken a beating from Kofi Kingston as well. In fact, Montez Ford just got split wide open. This is about as one-sided as it gets right now as Angelo Dawkins looks for an equalizer, but he can't grab the weapon out from under the ring because Xavier Woods stops him deep in his tracks. Montez Ford just got countered by Kofi Kingston. And now Kofi Kingston again right underneath and takes him down with another neck breaker. But here's Dawkins, has Woods up against the table. Xavier Woods just gonna get slammed off the table that he exposed. And Dawkins just throws him back in. But there's a boom drop from Kofi Kingston. Puts down Montez Ford. But Dawkins breaks that up just in the nick of time. And here's Xavier Woods as well. Lifting up Angelo and taking him down face first. But yo, the New Day already looking to put away Montez. No way! Trouble in paradise! Double cover! One! Two! Kick out! Now into the other cover! One! Two! It's over! No way! Oh my goodness! The New Day just buried the Street Profits! Trouble in paradise! And we got new Raw Tag Team Champions! The New Day just destroyed the Street Profits! Oh my goodness! What did we just see? What just happened? The New Day destroyed the Street Profits. And we have new Tag Team Champions here in our Universe Mode. Wow! Not expected to say the least. I thought that was going to be a more competitive matchup. But that one trouble in paradise just knocked him out cold. Out cold. But still to come later tonight, folks, we have the Battle Royale to determine our new WWE Champion. And we're now going to also determine our YouTube Diamond Champion. Rey Mysterio, Walter and Finn Balor fighting for this title. Now remember folks, if you guys would like, you can always consider dropping a like on this video or consider becoming a member. If you become a member, you get access to some really cool stuff in the live chat. You directly support this channel. And if you would like to, you can always consider dropping a super chat donation as we are live right now. If not, that's more than okay. Continue to enjoy this content for free. But it's time for Imperium's leader. It's time for Walter, Volta, Volta. Diamond Championship on the line. The following contest is a triple threat extreme rules match. And is for this is extreme the rules as well. Prestigious All Star Wrestling. The prestigious All-Star Wrestling Championship. Ring, wow. Representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria. Weighing in at 297 pounds. Volta! 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 The Ring General. So, let me know, guys, in the live chat if you're watching live. Who do you think is going to win, Walter, Ray, or Finn Balor? Oh, man. Yeah, he's ready to go. He's ready to go. 
And here comes Ray Mysterio! Now, little Ray Ray is somebody to really watch in this series. I think he's going to be a big deal for us in some way, shape, or form, whether it's putting over the next generation of superstars or whether it is by becoming another world champion. Rey Mysterio is somebody to watch in this universe mode. I think he's going to have a big, big show. Maybe he becomes the YouTube Diamond Champion right now. There he is. There's little Ray Ray. And time for Finnegan. Finn Bala. Yeah, man. Oh, dang. Look at the prince. Let's get some X emojis in the chat here for the prince. And drop those Ray, X's. County Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at Shinji says Balor's got this. He might very well, dude. Boom! So, Balor, very good chance for him to start off on the right foot here inside our universe mode. He has struggled to truly gain the proper momentum that he needs in order to become a champion on the main roster. Well, now is his chance. The YouTube button championship the youtube diamond championship whatever you want to call it a play button title this dude has a chance to make his mark tonight in just a few short minutes he could become a champion on the main roster oh man stand out everywhere he is gone been a world champion everywhere he is gone can he be a world champion in our universe mode? Well, this is not a world title he's fighting for, but it certainly starts with a win here tonight. Here we go. So make sure you drop that like on this video for this matchup right now. Let's go, the Diamond YouTube Championship on the line oh look at that beautiful title look at that beautiful title here we go referee ring that bell triple threat matchup for the diamond championship the youtube diamond championship you got little ray ray you got little finn balor and you got the big bad volta I would say right now that Walter is the favorite in this matchup. Uh, don't ever count out Finn Balor or Rey Mysterio, though. Two incredible underdogs. But Walter is just on another level. And man, oh man, this would be huge for Walter. No way, not again. Oh my goodness, just slams him down with one arm. Just slams him. And now Rey gets thrown down into the mat. Finn Balor's back up to his feet, though. Finn Balor floats around looking for a DDT, and he puts down the ring general. Okay, but Balor now gets caught by Ray with a neck breaker deep into the mat. And Ray is just going to focus on Little Finn again. Has him. Oh, wait a second. What is this? Double team. Double team from Ray Mysterio Walter. Walter goes for a big clothesline, but Ray Mysterio blocked that. Now there's the chop. Oh, the chops from Walter are going to be hard. They're going to be ferocious. You don't want to miss them. Keep your eyes open, and there's a big time drop kick from Walter. Walter goes for another clothesline, but this time Balor moved out of the way. And now Walter eats a forearm right to the face as little Rey Mysterio is back up to his feet. This right here is also Extreme Rules, so anything does go. Now I gotta ask the live chat, uh, when their music plays, was their music really loud to hear or was it really difficult to hear? I hope it's really difficult to hear because then it won't get picked up by the YouTube copyright system. We do have Randy Orton and Riddle in the universe mode. We do. Oh, there's a spike. Down goes Volta. And Balor, hang on. Is Balor going to bring in a weapon? I think he is. I think he is. He's got a steel chair. 
Rey Mysterio just hit the splash on Walter. Oh man, Balor though. Balor taking, oh my goodness. Balor set up, dial it up. Six, one, nine. Oh my goodness, Rey Mysterio with the chance. Into the cover, that might very well be it. One, two, no way. Oh, and a kick out by Balor. Oh, the kick out by Balor. Now the West Coast pop, but nobody home. Moving out of the way was Finn Balor after he got drilled with the 619. And now Balor's gonna try to make Rey Mysterio tap out, but Volter stops that right in its tracks. Right back into the corner. Finn Balor looking for maybe that shotgun drop kick. Oh, Rey Mysterio stopped him. Rey Mysterio literally stopped Balor from hitting it. And Walter just grabs him, has him hanging up on his shoulder and drops him over the top rope. Rey Mysterio now, you don't wanna be there with Walter, throws him over the top. Finn Balor is in trouble. Finn's in trouble, no! Finn, no! Jack Hammer on the chair! Jack Hammer on the chair! Walter just smoked Finn Balor. And now Walter's gonna go to the outside of the ring. What is he doing, man? This is getting extreme. We got a baseball bat as well. Oh no, Ray! Look out, Ray! No! Smacking them all over the head with a baseball bat. Goodness me! Now Ray is back up, but Ray is still fighting somehow. Kick right there. Ray Mysterio on the chair, on the chair! Oh my goodness! Right smack on the chair! And now little Ray Ray just drops the leg across the arm of Volta. Kicking the leg of Finn Balor, now kicking right back. Walter has to watch onwards as Rey Mysterio hits a spin kick here. Rey Mysterio's got a bat though. Balor moves out of the way and kicks the bat right out of his hands. What a match this is. Let's get a This Is Awesome chant. This is awesome. This is the best match of the night so far. Slamming his head down on the back of his neck. And now Finn Balor looking at Rey Mysterio who goes up onto the, what was that? Oh, what a drop kick, oh my goodness. What an evasive maneuver from Rey Mysterio. Just avoiding all of the right hands and the kicks from Balor. That was beautiful, now takes down Walter. Drop kick to the face, split him wide open. Walter is bleeding, folks. He be bleeding. Balor out here doing some sort of taunt. Rey Mysterio kicks him in the midsection. Again, another code red. This time connects on all of that one. But Balor's gonna lift up Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio now, that's not where you wanna be. 1916! Oh my goodness! Planting him down into the cover of the 1916. But Walter breaks that one up. And now Walter in the grips of Finn Balor. Balor with an opportunity. Punch to the face. Finn Balor. Kick to the midsection. Another Finn Balor kick. And he's got all the momentum. Running knee. Stiff on the jaw. Oh no, now Balor's gonna kick Rey Mysterio who decided to sit down in the corner for some reason. I don't really know why. Rey Mysterio eats a baseball bat. But he shoves it out of his hands. A right hand to Finn Balor. Drop kick on the button. Walter now eats a drop kick himself. No way. Is Rey Mysterio gonna do it? Is little Ray Ray gonna actually do it? He's got a chance. He's got an actual chance right now. Walter is down. Finn Balor is down on the outside of the ring. Rey Mysterio's just gotta go up. You just gotta fly, dude. Come on, little Ray Ray. Ray. Oh, Walter gets up to his feet. Walter, but he eats the clothesline still. Kick the reversal from Walter. Walter, no! Clothesline puts him down. Oh, that might be it. Into the cover. Finn Balor breaks it up. Staying alive in this matchup for the YouTube Diamond Championship. Walter turns him back around. What is this move? What is Walter thinking? Yo, what is the big ring general gonna do? What is this? Oh my goodness, no! No! Power bomb to Balor! Into the cover he goes, but Rey Mysterio breaks that one up. Saving the matchup for himself. Rey now with a kick. 
Ray off the ropes, here he goes. Neck breaker to Walter. Beautiful match. Wait a second. Oh my goodness, Finn Balor's still down. Ray, oh no. Five star front splash countered by Balor. Balor floats around DDT. You gotta be joking. This is Finn Balor's chance. Finn Balor's got the opportunity. Double stomp to the chest of Ray. And that's gonna set it up. Balor to the top rope. Coup de gras to become the new YouTube Diamond Champion. No, oh, kick out by Ray. Kick out by Ray. Mysterio stays alive and this match is not over yet. We got a block shot. Oh, and Walter just hits a massive headbutt. Oh no, a bonsai drop. Kick right there, block, but Mysterio's still fighting. Ray Mysterio with the arm drag to the ring, General. But Walter right back up to his feet. A right hand there connects and he got all of that one. But Rey Mysterio slides down the back, no way. Walter with a knee now to the midsection. Has him up in the corner and just throws him into the mat. Oh, not again. Bunzai drop. Punches to the luchador. But look who's back in the ring. None other than Finnegan. Finn Balor gloating in the corner. But watch out. Here comes the ring general. Oh, he's just going to kick you while you bloat. But Balor counters that one. Back towards Walter. Walter gets snapped on down. Off the ropes. Drop kick to the side of the head. Sling blade! Sling blade out of nowhere from Balor! He just smoked one of his best moves! Oh, Rey Mysterio is down! Balor's gonna do it! Coup de gras! He got all of it! Everyone's down! One! Two! No way! Oh my goodness! Finn Balor is the new YouTube Diamond Champion! Balor did it! Balor's got gold! Oh man, Balor has done it ladies and gentlemen, Balor has done it, four and a half star instant classic and we have a new United new YouTube diamond play button champion. Inaugural champ for the YouTube Championship. We're just going to call it the YouTube Championship, all right? It's way too much of a mouthful. We got two matches left, folks, and one of them is a steel cage match. This one right here. Here she is, Rhea Ripley. So Rhea and Liv are going to get an absolute monster of an opportunity against each other to become the new women's champion. Boom. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the Raw Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring from Adelaide, Australia, Rhea Ripley. There she is, everyone, Rhea Ripley. So who will win is the big question. Rhea Ripley, or will this be Liv Morgan? Get your votes in. Also, I should probably keep track of the matches uh, in, an actual, in an actual booking book. One second. Wow, this is my former boss battle championship book. Just noticed that. Cool. All right. So this can be my official booking book for the universe mode now. Official booking book. That way I know exactly who has won what. And from Elmwood, we got five Jersey, matches, right? Liv Morgan. All right. 
So Battle Royale. All right, then we got Liv versus Rhea. We had Seth versus Theory for the US title. We had New Day versus Street Profits. And now we just witnessed an epic, epic triple threat match. Finn Balor versus Walter versus Ray. All right. There we go. This was US title, the opening match. This was tag titles. Then there was the YouTube title. All right. Then we have the women's title. And we have the WWE title. There we go. Booking Book is now officially ready to go. I can keep track of who wins and who loses, and that way we can make the best storylines moving forward. But now we got ourselves a matchup. Rhea versus Liv Morgan. Who is going to win this thing? Could be literally anyone. Well, not anyone. It could be one of the two. Who's going to escape the cage? Who's going to get a pinfall or submission? That's the only three ways you have of potentially winning this match. And look at Liv Morgan. She was almost up. Almost up. But down she goes. Hey, Jonathan Farthing. How you doing, my friend? Liv Morgan now up. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's a glam slam. Also, I'm not sure if you guys heard this, but Nikita Lyons from NXT, uh, she wants to rename the glam slam. So Beth Phoenix's finisher, the glam slam, into the, hear me out, the clam slam. That's right. The clam slam. Not the glam, the clam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I don't even know if that's PG. Wait a second. Liv Morgan now going to go all the way. Oh, my goodness. What a splash from little Liv. Oh, my goodness. And a double stomp as well. Liv Morgan is going to try to climb on out. No way. Oh. oh, and Liv Morgan just dragged on down. No way. Liv Morgan for a second there I thought was going to win the women's title, but it does not look like that. Now I'm being dead serious, Trey Lucado. That's actually something that's going around right now. Big drop right there onto the face of the, the whatever that's called, a, a bulldog. Do Oh my god, no! Kick out! Forgot the name of the move, but a big bulldog from Liv Morgan almost pins Rhea Ripley. And now Liv Morgan with a huge chance. Huge chance right now. Can Liv get out of this out of the steel cage? Can she get there? No! A shot from behind from Rhea Ripley and just drags her down. But Rhea now. Uh-oh, Liv, you gotta get back up to your feet. Rhea Ripley's halfway there. Three quarters of the way there. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Rhea Ripley! Rhea Ripley's still fighting! But Rhea's just gonna... Oh my goodness! Missile dropkick just reversed! Reversed by Liv Morgan and now a punch to the face. Into the cover she goes. This could be it. Two. Oh! What just happened? What just happened? What did we just see? Oh my goodness, Liv Morgan is the new women's champion. What? What just happened? A punch to the face knocked out Rhea Ripley. That's it. Oh my, what? Little Liv is the new women's champion. Oh, okay. What a weird ending. But regardless... Liv Morgan is your new women's champion. That'll make C Wrestling happy. Yo, C Wrestling, shout me out in your latest video for making Liv Morgan champion. But here we go, folks. This is our main event of the evening. We got Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles versus Umaga 
versus Damian Priest versus Jeff Hardy versus Roman Reigns. Battle Royale for the WWE Championship. Let's go. Oh, man. He's here. The Samoan Bulldozer. The following contest is a six-man battle royal. And is for the WWE Championship. Make sure you guys drop that like, though. All right? Drop that like. From the Isle of Samoa. Weighing in at 350 pounds. Umaga. Yeah, if you guys want to see another episode of Universe Mode, let's get this to 100 likes, all right? If you want to see another episode, drop that like. Because, man, this is fun. I think I think this has so much potential. Don't you guys agree? Look at him. Scary Umaga. Who's going to be our inaugural WWE Champion, I wonder? Battle Royale. Six men enter, only one man leaves as the champion. Liv Morgan is our women's champion. Hey, Coaster Maniacs, how you doing, bud? He says, oh, my God. Yes, sir. And now here's the next one. It's my boy. It's my boy. Boom. Damian Priest. And his opponents. First. -na -na -na. Yay, thank you guys, 107 likes, all right. Looks like we're gonna do episode two of this one at some point. I wouldn't mind getting into a bit of a schedule with you guys for this channel uh, when it comes to our live streams. I wouldn't mind doing something like Mondays, Universe Mode, Tuesdays, doing something like maybe uh, a GM mode, and maybe Wednesdays, like, something else i don't know exactly uh but i'd love to be able to bring more consistent stuff to you on this channel i think that once we get the series established that we really enjoy doing and that we want to do more of we will know what we can do but this one right here i can see this running for a long time uh, and i can also see the gm modes still running for a long time hang on here comes aj styles They don't want none. Banger. Absolute banger of a song. And Ain't nobody breaking this redneck. Weighing in at 218 pounds. The phenomenal. They don't want none. They don't want none. They don't want none. No, they don't want none. Uh, Roger Date here says, have you tried tournament mode? It's fun too. I wish they had tournament mode inside universe mode would be lit. I haven't tried it. That's a video though. That's an easy video. We could make a tournament happen for sure. I like that. Ooh, let's go. Jeff Holiday. You know we are fans of Jeff Hardy. There he is. Jeff Hardy and Umaga, for those of you who have not heard this story before, and we'll tell Cameron, it after this. North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy! So, Umaga versus Jeff Hardy inside a steel cage is one of those matches that made me become a wrestling fan. I started watching wrestling in 2005, but it wasn't until 2000 and Eight, I think I truly, truly, truly got into it. And this is one of the matches that made it happen for me. Umaga, Jeff Hardy, Steel Cage, and when Jeff Hardy does the whisper in the wind off the top of the Steel Cage down to Umaga on the floor, I was hooked. I was hooked for life. We'll never forget it. Coaster Maniac says it's hard to believe AJ's been in WWE for six years now, right? It's been a while. Remember when he came out at the Royal Rumble, stared down Roman Reigns? 
But now it's time for Drew McIntyre. There he is. He's got a sword. He's ready to murder somebody. Look at that sword. <laughs> Fitbit was just reminding me to uh, step. Just, just step. It's not going to show you, is it? No, it's not. It's just like, hey, reminder to move. You've been sitting for and too long. <laughs> from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew. And there is Drew. Now, reminder, ladies and gentlemen, down in the comments section below, if you're watching back at a later time, let me know who do you think is going to be the star that we should center our entire universe mode around. Here comes Roman, though. Put them up, ladies and gentlemen. Put them up for Roman Reigns. All right, guys, you have three options here in the chat for who do you think is going to win. You also have other, and other, is what Pensacola, I was trying to say. Florida, weighing so cast in your vote. 265 pounds, Roman the head of the table is in our universe mode, and he is ready to bring that fight. Drew McIntyre stepping out of the ring for the head of the table, the tribal chief, the big dog, the large canine, if you will. It's Roman Reigns. And the chat acknowledges him. I acknowledge him. Put them up. Bennett, Bennett, Ben. We the ones. You the twos, and we da ones. Oh, man. Look at that. Man. That is a star. That is a S-T-A-R star. And we acknowledge him, so here we go. Who's walking out with the WWE title? Six men enter, only one man wins, and you must eliminate your opponent by tossing them over the top rope. Oh man, Flatliner immediately from Damian Priest. And Roman goes after Umaga. AJ Styles starting out with Jeff Hardy on the left side of the ring, so everybody is squared up with someone right now. I'm pretty sure Umaga and Roman are related in the same way. Or in some way, are they not? Pretty sure. Oh, Maga just slams him down, though. And Damian Priest has Drew McIntyre all the way up. Look at that. And then just sends him to the mat. Umaga goes for a flying headbutt. Can't land it. And Priest with a big kick to the face of McIntyre. AJ Styles, man, I would say he's an underdog in this matchup, but he could very well get it done. Never count out the phenomenal one, right? Roman is just going to work on Umaga in the corner. Oh, McIntyre now getting punched in the face as well. And Jeff Hardy takes down AJ Styles. Did we ever see Jeff Hardy versus AJ Styles in WWE? Did they ever give us that match? I can't remember it. Clearly, it wasn't that big of a build if they did give it to us. But yeah. Oh, no! Umaga's been, been eliminated! The Samoan bulldozer is out of there! And 15% of the chat just lost their vote. Umaga is eliminated. And we're down to five. Oh, man. Umaga will not be the champ. Kind of. Oh, no! Roman Reigns has been eliminated. Who just eliminated him? Oh, my goodness. I got to go back and watch this. Watch this in the replay. 
Oh my goodness, Roman Reigns. I think it was Drew McIntyre. Jeff Hardy just got eliminated by Damian Priest. So Drew McIntyre eliminated Roman Reigns and Damian Priest just eliminated Jeff Hardy. We are down to three, ladies and gentlemen. We are down to three. Styles, McIntyre and Priest. Come on, Damian. Come on, Damian. Oh man. Oh, Damien, though, just got his head smacked right there with AJ Styles' forehead. And Drew McIntyre with a scoop slam putting down AJ. But there's a right hand from behind. Come on, Damien. Come on, Damien. Come on, Damien. Oh, he went for that clothesline over the top. But AJ Styles now ducking underneath. There's a kick. Another punch from Damien Priest. Damien Priest unloading, but he can't get all of that. AJ Styles still firing away. AJ now. AJ trying to eliminate Damien Priest, but there's a back elbow. Damien with an opportunity to throw Styles up. Oh, flatliner, down goes AJ. He hits pretty hard, man. He hit pretty freaking hard. AJ Styles in a world of trouble. But AJ slides down the back. Oh, that is huge. And now Damien. Watching onwards as Drew McIntyre starts to go to work against AJ, but he flips around in a DDT to the phenomenal one. We are still down to three. Anybody can win this damn thing. Oh, what a power bomb! And who is going to become our inaugural WWE Champion? It could literally be any of these three men. Priest, though, firing back. And that was like a spear sort of deal from Damien, I guess. But AJ, what? Oh, reverse DDT just right down into the mat. That's like a uh, scorpion death drop. Insaguri to Damien. Styles now with a chop. Oh man, spin kick into the corner. AJ Styles kicking the leg out from underneath. Now a back elbow. Takes out the leg of Damien as well. Priest. Doesn't want to be there. AJ with an Insiguri knocks him right back. And this could be AJ Styles' opportunity. He just got to lift up Damian Priest and get him over that top rope. Oh, but Damian counters with a kick to the midsection. And Damian now with a knee. Another knee knocking down the little pit bull. No way. Another knee this time to Drew McIntyre. But Drew McIntyre counters with an elbow. Clothesline puts him into the mat. We're down still to the final three. Everybody got eliminated so quickly. But these three have been hanging on. Damian Priest has a red head. McIntyre's got an orange body. And Styles has that yellow body and head. Everybody be feeling that pain. Oh, what a knee from Priest. What a knee. Ouch. Oh, and McIntyre just going to try to throw him over the top. But he can't launch him all the way over the top rope. That would be cool if he could. That would be a really cool spot if he could launch him. Now AJ Styles turning his attention to Damian Priest. His opponent, Drew McIntyre, takes down McIntyre. Now Priest watching onwards as he lifts up the little pit bull. Has him right where he wants him. AJ Styles, though, with a huge reversal, stomping on the foot. AJ, is he going to go for an elimination? Nope, going for that scorpion death drop again. The final three to determine the new WWE Champion. Chop right there to the chest. Over the top rope is the only way you can eliminate your opponent. As Damian Priest drives his knee up there into the jaw of AJ. Goes for the crossbody, but AJ Styles sidesteps him right there. Now AJ in Saguri knocks him down off of his feet. What a matchup we're seeing. Right hand. Oh, AJ with an opportunity. AJ with an opportunity. And no way. No way. Drew McIntyre doesn't help out though. For a second, I thought Drew McIntyre was going to try to get in on the action. Instead, he's just waiting, but AJ Styles just eliminated Damien. My boy is gone. No, McIntyre. McIntyre eliminated. Oh my God. We got a new WWE champion. His name is AJ Styles. Styles survives. The pit bull is WWE. Champion! What? Oh, man! They don't want none! You don't want none of our new WWE Champion! Oh, wow! All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is our first episode of the Universe Mode. 
I hope you enjoyed. Whether you joined us in the live chat or whether you watched it back at a later time, I sincerely hope that you had fun. Make sure you drop that like on this video on your way out. Make sure you're subscribed and share this video all around. Tell all your friends. That way we can get more people following along for our universe mode. We will be back in the near future. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, take care. Have yourself a wonderful day. I've been Khan, and that was our universe mode. <laughs>